everyone, in today's video, I wanted to show you how to set up an Apple Watch 4 for the very first time. I got the Nike Plus Edition here, but it's the exact same thing as the regular Apple Watch 4. This one has just a sportier wristband and a couple of Nike apps for fitness, but otherwise the setup process and the un unboxing process will be pretty much the same. So let's go through the unboxing of the Apple Watch and I'll show you how to set it up and get it on your wrist for the very first time. So when you open the box for the first time, you'll notice two different boxes. One is for the wristband and the other one is for the watch and the charger. In the watch box, you'll have the watch. It has a protective sleeve. You'll have to take off the protective sleeve. And then you'll have a magnetic charger, a USB magnetic charger and a wall charger. So you'll just have to connect the two to charge your watch later. It does come pre-charged right out of the box so you can start setting it up without having to charge it right away. The next box is the wristband and you could get ton of different wristbands. I'll link to some in the description that I like more than the Nike one, but this Nike one is really great for working out and it comes with two different sizes. So there's a longer one if you have a bigger wrist and check out the instructions right here on this box because it will tell you exactly how to put it on. A lot of people put it on the wrong way. This picture shows you exactly how it should go on. So remove the wristband, start with the smaller one and then you could swap out for the larger one here. And you want to slide it onto each side of the watch. Again, use the diagram to know exactly which one to use. And if you put it on the wrong side, you could always flip the orientation of the watch. And we'll do that once we set up the watch. So don't worry which way you put it on. We could always change the orientation. Go ahead and slide it right in. And now you could turn on the watch by pressing and holding the button on the side. Now we have to sync the watch to our phone. So to do that, first let's pick a language and choose a region. Those are the two steps. And then you could start pairing. So have your phone on standby and press start pairing. And it's gonna give you an identifying graphic that you'll need to scan with your phone next. So we need to get the watch app on our phone here. So I'm gonna download the watch app and I'm gonna open it. And in the very first page, you'll see start pairing. Just go ahead and press start pairing and it's gonna give you the scanner here to scan that graphic on your watch. I'll put the watch on my wrist here, so I'm gonna go ahead and scan it. Just put up that graphic in that box and it's gonna start pairing it and it should only take a few seconds to start pairing and then you could set up your Apple Watch here. The next few steps are gonna happen in the watch app here on my phone. So I'll agree to the terms of service here. You could enable route tracking here or disable. I'm gonna press shared settings here, that's okay. I'm gonna press okay next. And now you have to create a passcode. When the watch is not on your wrist or if it goes on your wrist for the first time, it's gonna ask for a passcode. This is the same kind of passcode on your phone. So go ahead and type in a four digit passcode here to set up your watch. And back in the app, it's gonna start setting up the watch. It's gonna give you a few options that you could set up now or later like Apple Pay, so you could continue or do it later. Emergency SOS is available. And it's gonna recognize all the app that have a watch app and you could install them all or choose later. I'm just gonna choose to install them all now so I have all the apps that I want on my watch. I could remove them all later or any of them later. After a few minutes, the watch has finally synced to my device. I could press OK here. And now I could change the face of the watch. So the way the watch looks, it could be changed. So I'm gonna go to the face gallery here on my app so I could browse around, see what's available, and then I could go ahead and change it. You could also pair a new watch here if you have multiple watches with this app. And all your settings are also here under the My Watch tab. So you could go ahead and check that out anything from brightness to orientation to notification to apps they're all here under the settings you could always change them outside of your watch inside the watch app let's go back to the watch so we could look at some of the basics before we change the face of the watch and some of the other settings here on the app but let's look at some of the basic that it's gonna walk you through. So if you press firmly on anything, on any part of the app or the watch, it's gonna give you another option. But just go through these settings, they're pretty straightforward. So swiping left, right, up and down, just like the things that you would do on your phone here. But really most of the things happen with that digital crown that you have right there. 
So by firmly pressing it in, it's basically gonna take you from the watch face into the app section. And you could go ahead and spin it to go inside of an app. And then you could use your finger to maneuver around the apps here and pick one. Now let's change the orientation of the watch here and then we'll go ahead and change our watch face right after that. So jump into a settings app and then here you could scroll and see all the different settings that your watch has to offer. You could also reset the watch here, but there is a settings called orientation. Go ahead and click that and you could see the digital crown orientation. Is it gonna be on the left or the right? And I've already flipped it here and the wrist orientation. So it's pretty simple to go ahead and change those two settings here change the orientation now let's go ahead and change our digital face of the watch i'm back in the watch app here and here i could edit my faces here and add or remove the ones i don't want so these are the ones 12 of them right now installed i could press the minus sign to remove them and i could also go to the face gallery on the bottom and see what else is new if i have the nike version of the watch i'll see some of the nike ones here and there's a bunch of different ones depending on what you want to do with your watch so if you want to be more active and activity is your, most of your concern maybe you want to see how many steps you've taken how many calories you lost so there's a bunch of different watches here just go through and pick yours i'm not going to go through all these there is a whole bunch of them and you could get a lot more and you could customize it really here too. So there's a lot of customization option in the colors and in the layout of every single page here. Once you see the one you like, tap on it and then you could go ahead and set the color that you want and then scroll to the bottom and says set as current watch face. If you press that, it will just set it on your watch just like that. Now let's look at adding and removing apps. So on the My Watch page of the app, if you go to the app section and you'll see all the apps that are installed, you could just click each one and uninstall it by not showing it on the watch. It won't remove it from your phone, but it would just remove it from showing on your watch. So you could go through here and all the installed apps, you could do the exact same thing with it. And all the apps that are not installed, again, you install these on your phone first you could go ahead and install them here on the very bottom of the page. You could also go to the app store here and see all the different watch apps that are available. A lot of them are organized by category, so they make them really easy here to get. And you simply press get to add it to your watch here. So there it is. That's the app that I just downloaded and it just appeared on my watch. And then I could go ahead and check it out here on my watch to my fitness pal. And one more thing here, if you scroll down from the top of the watch, you're gonna see your notifications here. And if you scroll up, you'll see the dock here where you have a lot of options. It's gonna show you battery percentage, do not disturb, silence mode, a ringer to find your phone, theater mode, flashlight, airplane mode, two-way walkie-talkie, all those options are here. So check out some of those options and you could always edit them and move them around as you want to. To turn off the watch, simply press and hold the button on the side here and you'll get the power off and just slide it and it will turn off the watch. And to charge your watch, connect the magnetic piece to your watch, it will click and it will start charging your watch. It's that simple. Again, this watch has a lot of options and I'll continue to make videos all the time, updating you on all the new updates of this watch. If you have any questions or suggestions for the next video on the Apple Watch, please let me know in the comment section and I'll make sure to get to it. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you next time.